Thanks, Mika. That psalm was written somewhere between the 9th and the 5th century BC, and you can still feel the emotion behind the psalm. Some psalms were set to music, and I always wonder what kind of music. Come let us sing for joy, let us shout aloud. Well, you never know, but my guess is that they are pretty lively worship songs. And remember, they were praising God years before Jesus, so how much more should we have reason to praise God now? Over the past year, we've been able to explore some of the worship songs out there on YouTube. And there's such a range, different songs expressing different feelings, a bit like the Psalms, really. We've had songs sung backed by full orchestras in the Royal Albert Hall, songs in arenas, in studios, songs put together by churches, including our own, by choirs, by bands, by individuals. And although we're just hearing songs on our screen at the moment, it's possible to connect with them and make them our own acts of worship. We can sing to the words or we can just take them in and feel what's being sung. The first song I've brought to our service is a song of worship to praise God. It's a bit different. It's worship in an environment surrounded by office blocks, restaurants, theatres and all sorts of activity. <clears throat> and as you watch, notice there's so much information and so many messages being pushed at us through advertising screens. And look at the people. Some are just giving themselves completely in worship and some can't quite figure out what's happening. But in the middle of Times Square, New York, our God is being worshipped. And he must have been looking at this with a smile on his face. <laughs> 